I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up guys? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another Player Unknown's Battlegrounds video. It's been a while since I made an update about my controller sensitivity, so I want to go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so, um, here are my settings. I turn my music off because that is annoying. Um, I turn my game DVR off because I heard that helps speed up the frame rate on the original Xbox, even though I run an Xbox One X. Um, no vibration, I hate that. I keep my dead zone at 5. That seems like the perfect place between moving by itself and just moving when you want it to move. My controller binding preset I keep on Type A. I'll go into more detail about that later. General sensitivity, vehicle, and targeting sensitivity are all at 5s, which is the default. My all my scoping sensitivities I keep on 6 except for the 15 times scope I keep that one on 10 because that is kind of broken and very slow and I keep my aim acceleration on 0 because I just don't like my aim to accelerate I like it to be at a constant rate and I like to that helps me um, lead my targets better and acquire my targets better all right so now that you have those settings I want to talk to you a little bit about a couple things that have to do with aiming maybe helping you improve your aim um, and uh, just different things. The first thing I want to talk about is um, a controller versus a mouse. All right, and we are talking about console right now. There's a lot of people out there that use keyboard and mouse on console, and currently there's no way for PUBG or Microsoft to stop them. And if there is a way, they have not implemented it yet. My personal opinion, I think this is cheating. Why do I think this is cheating? Well, because quite a long time ago, I hooked up a keyboard and mouse to my Xbox in an attempt to learn how to use the keyboard and mouse so I could play better on PC. As soon as I got good at it, and that wasn't in this game, that was a long time ago, as soon as I got good at it, I realized how much of an advantage I had. At first, I didn't have an advantage because I had no idea what I was doing on the keyboard and mouse. But afterwards, I was like, oh man, like, you have such an advantage over people using a controller because the mouse simply is more precise. Now there's cer certain games out there that have like real strong aim assist, you know. Um, I'm not going to get into other games. I'm just talking about PUBG right now. I definitely think that a mouse versus a controller is unfair. Um, and I won't do that unless they officially design like a Microsoft keyboard and mouse and bring it to console and say everybody can use a keyboard and mouse now. Hooray! Until then, I'm definitely using a controller when I play console because it's just unbalanced and not fair. And that's just my opinion on that. Um, now let's talk about uh, something I hear a lot of people say when it comes to sensitivity. They say the sensitivity in this game is too low. In Call of Duty, I can turn on people super fast. In this game, even if I have my settings all the way up to 10, it's still too slow. Well, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Call of Duty has some pretty strong aim assist. So you can actually get away with turning your sensitivity up really high still being able to lock onto your targets, still being able to turn on people and finish them off. Same for other shooter games that have strong aim assist. This game does not have any aim assist at all, which means you actually have to take your time. Uh, so it might be best not to have your controller sensitivity all the way up because even though you might be able to react faster, um, you might not be able to get your target you know, centered in as quickly as possible. But in the end, all it comes down to is what feels most comfortable for you. So fives and sixes feel comfortable to me, but if nines and tens feel more comfortable to you, then definitely go with that. You know, Don't try to copy somebody else's settings uh, just because you don't like your own unless they really are not working for you. And don't worry about the uh, haters out there who are like, oh, if you don't have your sensitivity on 10, you're just a total noob. Don't listen to those people. They have no idea what they're talking about. Literally no idea. Um, all right, now let's talk about how the FPS, which is the frames per second, affects the aiming system. There's something about this aiming system when you're aiming down sights that just feels really clunky when you're using a controller. This game was definitely designed to be played with a mouse uh, because it came to PC first and the aiming has always been really smooth. It's never been a problem. But on Xbox, the aiming seems clunky. And I think the one, well, I think the two reasons for this is one, obviously there's no aim assist. So people that are used to being assisted with their aim in other games are going to go flying past their target and have trouble, you know, getting it on. You can get past that. You do not need aim assist. It might make for a little bit slower gameplay, but I think it's more realistic in the end. Um, and I'll probably go into more detail about aim assist, you know, in another video. Now, 
The second reason I think the aiming system is clunky is because of how low the frame rate is. You know, I, I play on an Xbox One X and I play on an SSD, which is a solid state drive, which speeds up loading times for your game. You can buy these online, Microsoft sells them, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you can plug these into any Xbox One, Xbox One S or Xbox One X and transfer your games over to it for faster load times and better game performance. I've never got Play-Doh buildings or anything like that. And from what people tell me, even on the original Xbox One, if you hook an SSD up to it, that'll take care of the Play-Doh buildings uh, because everything loads in much faster on an SSD. So I think the slow frames per second is a major problem. Uh, for the aiming system because you really need smooth frames to be able to track your targets correctly. How many times have you started shooting at somebody that looks like they're moving left and all of a sudden they're moving right? It might have been a little easier to detect that movement if you had double the frame rate. Even more. Right now this game I think runs around, uh, for me, between 20 and 25 frames per second. Sometimes maybe actually hitting that 30 frames per second cap that they put on it. I really hope they can bring the frame rate up to 60, but I don't think they have any plans to as of right now. Now I want to talk a little bit about the controller layout that I use. Um, I know when I did my sensitivity I said I would talk about why I use type A. Well there's two reasons that I use type A. One because I've been playing this game on PC since it was released in March of 2017 and the way to aim down sights was to always tap the aim button on your mouse instead of hold it down. I'm already used to doing that so it flows for me. The second reason is that I also like to use third person aim in up close and personal situations and I like to be able to hold the left trigger down to do that as opposed to uh, holding the left bumper down to do that. And uh, last of all, um, holding your breath is really weird when you have to aim down sights by holding the button and hold down the left bumper right above the left trigger. I'm sure you can get used to it, but I like to use my index fingers on the trigger instead of my middle finger, so that makes it a little difficult for me. That's why I prefer type A. A lot of my friends do use type B and do just fine with it, but for me, it's type A all the way. Uh, let me talk a little bit about hip fire versus aiming down sights. Um, I have started aiming down sights a lot more in this game ever since the frame rate went up a little bit since a few updates ago. I know that's kind of laughable because you're like, what, did it go up from 20 to 25? Yeah, pretty much. It didn't go up very far, but it actually does make a huge difference, just that extra five frames per second. My gunfights feel a lot less laggy, and that was preventing me from wanting to aim down sights because sometimes it seems like as soon as you aim down sights, you lose an immediate like five frames per second. It's crazy, even on the Xbox One X. Now, I'm sure different people have different experiences. There's going to be people on here that agree, and there's going to be people on here that are like, oh, I've never lost a frame in my whole life, and I've played this game for two hours now. <laughs> You know, there's always people out there like that, but it is a, it is a problem. It is a problem. The, the FPS is a problem and that creates a clunky aiming system, but it seems to be better after the last few updates. And I have been resorting uh, to a first person aim um, in a lot closer situations than I would have before. I still utilize that third person aim a lot if somebody is like five meters or closer, but if they're more than five meters away, I'm probably going to first person aim to get that accuracy. All right, now um, to finish up, let me talk about some of the best guns for full auto spray on Xbox. I think the best one would be the M4 with every attachment you can get. I don't really notice too much of a difference between the angled and the vertical foregrips. They both seem to work fine for me, regardless of uh, which one I have. And I think the second best one for full auto would be the SCAR. Of course, you want to burst fire every time unless they're like super close to you because the more you full auto spray, the more control you lose over the gun. In fact, the recoil was so bad when it first came out on Xbox, they had it the same as PC. They actually had to reduce the recoil, I think, by about 1.5 times uh, to make it more... Uh, be able to play with a controller but uh using the mouse to aim on pc you get uh, almost double the recoil it's crazy but it works it works so uh, those are the best guns i think um, for full auto pretty much the only guns that go full auto but if you have all the attachments on them that's definitely going to help don't worry about it if you don't have all the attachments it does make a difference but you'll still be able to full auto people at close range uh, do a burst fire if they're further away but keep that sucker on full auto i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you guys on the next video or the next live stream later everyone